check this out. Me and Chase Nasty here, dropping in a little indoor outdoor carpet. Y'all talking about you can't get money? There was yeah. just a dude here that put in this vinyl flooring. Look at this. My man got a check for doing this. He complained while he did this shit too. He acted like this was hard. He said, man, these casings, there ain't no easy way to Dude, do this. Dude, he didn't even try on this one. No, no. So for all y'all out there thinking you can't get a check, my man just got a check for doing this. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Opportunity is everywhere, and I am done showcasing other people's hackery. Let's get into my good, good hackery here. So we're going to go ahead and work with some indoor, outdoor carpet. Super sharp blade is necessary. My dude fit floors was all like round blades. Nah, dude. It's all about square blades around here. Cut through both pieces of cover with that razor sharp, and then take that seam iron, burn that bad boy together, and we're going to dive right into another one here. Here we got a little closet one. Run that down. Ooh, jumped a row. Can't have that. We're going to go ahead and showcase that anyway though then we're gonna go ahead and cut our next little fill piece razor sharp blade is the key to success in this each and every time gonna go ahead and rough cut all that down get that blaze and hot iron on there Zoop. Zoop. for all you people out there watching this this is sped up at a very dramatic rate so know that when you burn these seams let that iron sit there for a good eight to ten seconds let's try this again right here get a little bit of tape under there drop that seam iron in Whoop. Whoop. Look at that, look at that. That's just absolute hacky perfection. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop a transition metal up against my man's beautiful vinyl plank flooring he just had done, clackety clack. Oh, and then we just morphed over to some cove base. Totally different job. We did this one yesterday. I am in the process of a content dump. I think I have like 670 video clips in my phone that I have not uploaded yet. So I'm gonna be going hoard for real, getting all these unloaded here, sharing all the content, all the clips, all that good stuff we've done to get ready for the showdown with CFI installers. I want to know what is in that good, good gold they are all talking about in being certified. I want to know what y'all know, what you got, and what can you share with the community. I'm going to give my tips nonstop. We're going to see what they have to share. And if it's a value add or a waste of time, I don't know. But we don't know till we hear them out and see where the positive notes are on this. So we're gonna go ahead and butter up some vinyl base in the meantime there, using that good liquid nails going right up against this block. This was funny, this was one of them cases. We were an hour away from home on this job. Great, great payday. But we were down to the nitty gritty when it was all said and done. We literally had like dude just scraping for adhesive and then ran out of liquid nails. Then we used this stuff that we use for fitness. Well, look at my pants there. Did you see that? The thing exploded inside of there and just shot all over me. I totally bought that one. Hot mess on my hands. But that's why I just morphed over to another job site so you don't have to watch me clean up the mess I made. But I was talking about running short on glue, man. We were using D815. We were using this other adhesive we use on fitness floors just to get to the finish line. MacGyver your way through situations. Don't complain about running out of material stuff is going to happen. And when the ones that fold, fold, that leaves room for others to win. Don't be a person that folds. Go to your resources. See what you got and just make things happen. Get that job done. Whatever it takes to get paid, then get that money and put it into something that keeps your money growing. If you keep it in your pocket, you're going to spend it. So you got to deploy it. But Back to this vinyl piece here. Look at me. Get that good liquid nails up. Getting about a dollar a foot to install this stuff. So, you know, I think the numbers are all over the place with this. Whatever you're getting to install vinyl base, go ahead and drop that down below. I think the numbers are anywhere from 50 cents a linear foot upwards to $1.25. Uh, let me know what your marketplace is sharing on that, though. Because there's nothing fun about installing vinyl base. So are you making it worth your while? Are you getting robbed in the process? No right or wrong on this. Just let me know where you're at. And we're going to go ahead and wrap around these nice window casings here. I can't believe some of the stuff we've walked into recently. But all in all, I got to say, man, I cannot be mad. We've been busy on busy. Aside from like two short days, life has been good throughout this disaster. So I appreciate you checking in on this. Let me know how you're doing in your marketplace. I hope you are getting back to the hustle and grind. We're in that weird teetering point right now. Some people are opening up, some people never got shut down, and some people are scared to death. No matter where you're at, it's okay. We're going to get through this. Holla at your boy. Let me know how you're doing. Thank you so much, and I'll connect with you in the next video.